So patients with Marfan syndrome and Lois Dietz syndrome, when they have um, their initial presentation with a, a problem with their arteries, it's typically in the aorta the first artery, the large artery that comes out of the heart. So the heart sits there and beats and it pushes the blood up into the aorta and then the aorta pushes the blood through the rest of the body to our brains and all our organs. And in patients with Marfan syndrome and Lois Dietz syndrome, that very first part of the aorta is weak and it doesn't withstand that constant pressure of the blood pressing, pulsing against it and over time it begins to enlarge and that if that enlargement is not followed and medically managed, it can cause a complication called aortic dissection. And, um, and, aort and aortic dissection can be a life-threatening event. So that's why we want to make the diagnosis and be able to go in and repair the ascending aorta. Now patients with vascular aerolose danlos, they tend not to have problems with that part of the aorta, that very first part, on top of the heart, but instead they have problems with the, the arteries coming off the aorta, like the carotid artery that provides the blood up to her brain, and the artery, the subclavian artery that takes blood down to her, our, our arms. And, um, and they can have dissections or even just spontaneous ruptures of those arteries. And so they're condition um, and they often present with rupture and dissection of other arteries other than the aorta and more typically present with complication of other arteries. In addition they can have a rupture of their gut and in particular their colon and that can occur once again just spontaneously and then the women when they become pregnant the women with um, Erlos Danlos type 4 or vascular Erlos Danlos can have travel problems with, um, with during pregnancy with rupturing the uterus.